This is going to be the first part one in the series of tutorials to help you complete, to tutor you through the steps so you can complete yourself the Capstone project in Simnet Excel 365 Capstone project, which is also, if we scroll down a little bit, they call it project two. I will be doing this on Windows. I'm usually a Mac user. So because I'm doing this on Windows, this will highlight whenever there's a difference between Mac and Windows. And I will try to point it out. Uh, just like all the other projects, it starts with a start file, resources. Should your teacher allow you to or, or choose, um, you will have available a solution file, which is a PDF of what it looks like. I have that and I will be using it. And I've already uh, downloaded these files and I have opened the start file. And here it is. Also, I've already completed step number one, which is uh, to open it. And uh, if that enable editing button shows up, it did show up. I clicked it and now it's enabled uh, editing. It's that yellow strip that shows up here. You click enable editing. Now we're ready to um, perform some real steps. Let's see. Uh, the file will be renamed automatically. So if it has usually uh, your name and the project name, you leave it the same way unless your teacher tells you uh, to change it. I don't tell my students to change it. The next thing they tell you to do is to import. We've done that, I think, in uh, project number three or four. Um, import the tab delimited. So the, uh, the information in that file is uh, separated by tabs. And that's that resource file that we downloaded to sell A19 sheet one. So first, uh, we will get to this point, to the, uh, to the word sheet one. First of all, how do we import it? First of all, I select A19. So here, I'm scrolling up, scrolling down until I find a 19. Then to import data, I go to the data tab. Now, if this was a Mac, I would have to pull down this menu and find something like uh, import text legacy. And it would uh, bring up a dialog and you have instructions for the Mac users what how to go through that dialog in your instructions, which are actually kind of simpler than uh, on Windows. On Windows, we have a special button called from text CSV, which I will click. It pops up a dialog that asks me, OK, what file would you like to import? And I already see it. But even if I didn't, I would go to my downloads and here it is. TXT, Blue Lake Project 2 TXT. By the way, if you don't see the um, um, extension.txt, it means your computer is hiding um, extensions, but you should still have all the name up to the TXT. When I import, it's going to show a dialog. Now, what's important is not to click just load, but to pull down this little menu and tell it where to load to. And that's where we're going to see what they're talking about. Where do they want us to download this to the existing worksheet, cell A19 in absolute terms, and not to check add this data to the data model. In other words, saying this is like a guest. Let it join the existing data model. Let's read the, the wording. Um, Verify that the add this data to the data model box in the import data dialog box is not checked before you click OK. The data imports in an Excel table and repositions the existing data. What do they mean by that? They mean that if I click OK, it moves everything that used to be A, B, C to D, E, and F and inserts this here. In the instructions, they actually even give you a screenshot of what it looks like, and it looks just like mine. A, B, C with those, you know, like uh, with this new table. Um, then the existing data was moved to D, E, F, and there's even like an overlap of one empty row here. Now we're going to move this. Select the cells A20, C33, copy them to the clipboard. Do not include the blank row. So the blank row is like uh, 34, I think. So uh, A20, C33, A20, all the way to C33. So don't include 34, even though it's colored. And under Home, I will copy. Just click Copy. Then, they, after Copy, always comes Paste. So where do they want us to paste this? 
select cell D19 and open the paste gallery choose formulas to paste the data without formatting there's actually more than one way of doing this so first of all d19 is where they want us to paste this this would be like like the top left corner of what they want us to paste and when i go home and this is the paste gallery and there's all kinds of um the options what they're talking about is that uh, uh paste formulas on the mac you can use a uh, uh, paste and keep original formatting and it'll work just fine uh, but here on windows they tell us to paste formulas which basically means paste without you know the colors and the fonts and all that click and see how it matches the format of everything else we took only the data from here brought it here save Press escape to canceling the, the, the to cancel that um, moving border. So escape, and now you know no borders are moving because it used to have like those you know crawling ants around it. Next, uh, they want us to uh, step four: uh, insert a blank row at row four. So I'm going to row four. right click insert notice that it will insert it between them so now that there's a new blank row four what used to be four has been pushed to five so there's like a nice separator between them save then format the cells d5 f75 as an excel table with blue table so first of all we'll format as is the table and then we'll make sure that the style is blue table style medium too so so d5 f75 let's start d5 f all the way down to 75 which is the last row how do we do that by going insert table where's your data d5 f75 my table has headers yes it does it so happens that the default style that it already got is this which is the blue table style medium too so i didn't even have to choose it if i did it would be in table design table styles so now there should be one two three empty and then the city department and transactions just to make sure i'm going to go to my solutions and find it's not the first one here it is you see how there's one two three empty uh, row and then the the table save but there's still this left over so we're going to take care of it very very soon here it is select and delete columns a through c because you know that's where we borrowed the data from but we don't need it anymore so column a i'm holding shift on the keyboard and b and c now i can let go of shift right click and cut or delete uh, cut is when i want to paste it delete is just you know go away and now it really looks like um what it needs to look like save next select the cells now they want them to look nice and centered and everything select cells a1 through a3 change the font to 14. so one two three a one through three change the font size to 14. next uh, set the width of column a through c to 15 so it will take selecting column a hold shift b i'm still holding shift c holding shift right click and uh column width right click on the column width 15 okay save and then they want us to apply something called apply center across selection commands to these cells and then uh, go home so go home is just to select cell a1 so that control home thing is just to select cell a1 but first we need to do apply 
across selection. Where do we find that? While those three cells are selected, A, one, uh, one through three, I right click, I find the word format cells. On the Mac, I think it's just called format, doesn't matter, format cells. It brings up a dialog. In that dialog, there's a category. On the Mac, it's exactly the same, just the buttons look a little rounder, called alignment, and it has horizontal and vertical. And under horizontal, instead of general, I'm going to choose center across selection. What does that do? Even though these are um, only in column A, sorry, actually, I didn't select the right thing. What I need to select is everything, A, B, and C. Then right click and format cells and then alignment instead of general, center across selection, click OK. And look at what happens. Even though the data is still A, one, two, three, it centers across the selection of A, B, and C. Without, this is still an independent uh, cell, but whatever it says in A just spans across it. Save. What they say now is to rename the worksheet to transactions, which I can either type or right click, copy, go here. Instead of the sheet called sheet one, I double click and paste, you know, control V on the Mac, it's uh, command V, or it could just type it, whatever seems less work to you. And I click outside to see that it took the name. We are up to requirement number five, but I think we will do that on uh, part two of this tutorial. See you in part two.